Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on beat cutter from Igor Vasiliev. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use beat cutter inside an AUV3 host. Um, the other videos I've done so far um, have been with the uh, standalone version of bit cutter so it's useful to actually see how you can use it as an a uv3 um, instance so i'm inside the um for the purpose of the video so let's click on the plus sign and create a new channel the first thing to realize is that you cannot use bit cutter as a, a audio source so if you search as you can see it says no search results now you need to add beat cutter as an insert in effect. So if we search now in here for beat cutter, you see you have the two version as a audio unit or interrupt audio. So let's choose the audio unit instance. Okay, so now this is loaded and let's double click on the header to maximize it. Um, let me uh, first of all, um, reset to a default preset which i created so let's click on set here and i will show you how to do this in a subsequent tutorial um so this is how you instantiate it inside um, in this case a um very simple and if you remember the previous tutorial now you can recreate exactly that and i do that very quickly because i wanted to show you something else to progress in the understanding of bit cutter uh, so i'm going to recreate it quickly so input bus so i'm going to the input tab into bus one file file and let's choose a, a base click set and set a little bit the file direct like so Second input bus, uh, fire again. Let's choose a, an electric piano, set, slightly increase the volume a little bit more. Third one, choose again type file, choose the file, and let's choose something like uh, percussion. So let's click set, and let's put in higher volume. So let's click st start. Now you can click start here. <laughs> And it will play or because it is hosted inside the um you can go in the um hosting control or navigation controls uh, or transport controls and click on play there inside the um okay perfect something else i wanted to show you very quickly so let's go to the reverb tab and lower the output down to a minimum and let's click play on the transport control and uh, let's go to the main tab now um what i wanted to show you here is the activities on the input uh, um bus group as you can see uh, we have uh, one two and three three input buses you can see they are flagging up it means there is uh, activity i.e I, there is audio that uh, is incoming bear that in mind because that is important as we progress in learning how bit cutter works and now to show you even something more you i'm going to click on that bus group and instead of being in bus mode one i move it to bus mode three so it will move up here and what i want you to notice as well is that when you see activity on the first bus you see this line appearing which moves throughout all these cells and bear that in mind as we go through in the next video and we start to do processing the full record into the cells because this is important but i will do a dedicated tutorial as we are at the right moment so that it is not too confusing okay i'm going to stop here and um, see you at the next video Bye.